Today, we're delving into a profound book that challenges the very core of our beliefs. The Courage to be Disliked by Ichiro Kishimi and Fumitake Koga. Picture a life where your choices aren't dictated by the judgments of others. A life where you truly have the courage to be disliked. Sounds liberating, doesn't it? Let's unpack the transformative lessons from this remarkable book. Our journey begins with the powerful realization that our past doesn't have to determine our present or future. The book introduces the concept of vertical and horizontal relationships. Vertical relationships rooted in the past can limit our growth. However, by embracing horizontal relationships and focusing on the present and future, we can break free from the chains of our history. Lesson two is a game changer. Pursue your own happiness unapologetically. The courage to be disliked challenges the common belief that seeking approval from others is necessary for our well-being. Drawing from Adlerian psychology, the authors encourage us to identify and pursue our own goals and desires, unburdened by societal expectations. Now, let's talk about overcoming the fear of disapproval. The book brilliantly dissects how the fear of being disliked can hold us hostage. It encourages us to welcome criticism and recognize that not everyone will agree with us. And that's perfectly fine. Embracing this truth liberates us from the suffocating need for constant approval. Lesson four is about embracing responsibility for our choices. The authors emphasize the transformative power of taking ownership of our lives. While external events may be beyond our control, our responses are not. By accepting responsibility, we unlock a sense of freedom and empower ourselves to make positive changes. Our final lesson encourages us to live in the here and now. The book advocates for mindfulness, urging us to focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on past mistakes or anxiously anticipating the future. By being fully present, we can savor our experiences and cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships. Lesson six introduces the concept of compassion for others. The book suggests that by understanding and accepting that everyone is on their own path, we can develop empathy and compassion. It challenges us to consider the perspectives of those around us and build more harmonious relationships. A unique aspect of The Courage to be Disliked is its fusion of Eastern and Western philosophy. Let's explore how the book seamlessly weaves principles from Adlerian psychology with Eastern wisdom, creating a holistic approach to personal growth. Lesson seven highlights the joy of contribution. By shifting our focus from seeking recognition to contributing positively to the world, we can find a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. Let's explore how embracing a mindset of contribution can lead to a more meaningful life. Now let's get hands-on with the practical exercises that this book provides. These exercises are designed to help us internalize the principles and truly integrate them into our daily routines. Exercise one involves setting fictional goals. The authors suggest creating imaginary goals as a way to break free from the expectations of others. By focusing on goals that truly resonate with us, we shift our mindset from seeking approval to pursuing authentic happiness. Exercise two introduces the concept of the unhappiness journal. Instead of cataloging our achievements, we jot down instances where we feel dissatisfied. This exercise helps us identify patterns of thought and behavior that contribute to our unhappiness paving the way for positive change. Now let's explore how these practical exercises seamlessly integrate Eastern and Western philosophy. The exercises draw from Adlerian psychology while incorporating mindfulness and self-reflection techniques rooted in Eastern wisdom. Exercise three invites us to engage in a dialogue with our guiding star. This involves imagining a mentor or someone we look up to and having a conversation with them in our minds. This exercise helps clarify our values and align our actions with our true selves. Let's delve into another powerful exercise inspired by the book, Adopting the Four Agreements. These agreements rooted in Toltec wisdom include being impeccable with your word, not taking anything personally, not making assumptions, and always doing your best. Overall, this book teaches us many lessons about true happiness and brings a unique perspective. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and see you next time.